What is up guys? Chris Escott with Exceptional Detailing and today what I want to teach you is how to correctly paint correct a vehicle. This is a 2017 Ferrari 488 Spider, and we've already done decontamination wash, a clay bar, and now what we're going to do is try to get you confidently paint correcting by the end of this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by telling you guys what we're using. Um, we're using a Sonax Perfect Finish Compound Polish with a Jax Wax Red Medium Cut Foam Pad. The reason why we're using a medium cut and not a heavy cut is because this vehicle is well maintained. It's garage kept, it's driven a bit, but it's still kept in good shape. The owner takes really, really good care of it. Um, this is a Bauer Harbor Freight Special. Um, don't be afraid to use these if you don't have the budget to get a Flex or a Rupes, even though we have a couple in our inventory. Um, you guys can start off with a, something like this. The throw is still pretty good. I don't know the exact throw on this one, but I can get you guys the, the link in the description for the, for the whole setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with four dots, about a dime size a piece, just like that, right there, okay guys? And then we're going to do three vertical and three horizontal, and I'll show you guys exactly how we're going to do that. We're going to dab it in there, spread it all around, start at a low speed so we don't throw all the compound everywhere. And then we're just going to speed it up. So right here, I was running out of storage, so I couldn't actually show you guys my full three vertical and three horizontal passes, but that's what we do, and then we move on to the next step. So right here, I was running out of storage, so I couldn't actually show you guys my full three vertical and three horizontal passes, but that's what we do, and then we move on to the next step. This part of the panel is now ready for a uh, IPA wipe, which is an isopropyl alcohol and a um, ceramic coating application. So we'll get you guys back here in a minute. All right, so what we're doing here is we're applying the ceramic to the pad, we're just doing a cross action here. And then when we apply it, we're just gonna be, you know, we, well first we do cross sections on a bigger, bigger piece. Like if this was a big panel, we would just go cross hatching. And then I also learned that if you do circles, it helps level it out a bit. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, it's kind of new to the industry. Everybody's always done, always, everybody's always done cross hatching, uh, but we've seen a great, great uh, outcome when you do circles and help level it out a bit because um, when you wipe it off then you don't have to worry about doing any circles or anything like that it's already kind of leveled out in a circular pattern um, right now all we're doing is ceramic coating the carbon fiber inlays of this beautiful engine here and just giving a little bit more added protection um, overall the whole thing's going to be ceramic coated um, so we want to just do the best we can with everything and not skip any steps flash um, it's about 77 degrees in here we have the AC set at that um, and it's been about 35 to 45 seconds of flash time so we're gonna go ahead and let it flash and then we'll wipe it off all right and now we are gonna show you on a bigger panel um, the way that we like to do it. Um, it it levels it out really really well so what we're gonna show you is we're gonna show you the cross hatching first same thing about a two by two square would be sufficient uh, you don't really want to go more than that, uh, mainly because if you do and you forget a spot or something like that, you'll be pretty much screwed. So what I was explaining earlier on the engine bay was these circular motions tend to level it out and you don't have like high lines. They call it high spots, um, but I call them high lines because you're going straight. With these circles, what this does is it eliminates the chances for those, those lines to happen, the high spots. Um, and then we just go back with a light, light one over here and it comes out perfect almost every single time. So we, we really haven't had an issue in the last 20 or 30 times of ceramic coating with those circular motions. And we've come to really, really enjoy using the circular motions because it works so well. So, but that's pretty much the ceramic coating application. We've done the whole vehicle now. 